I'm Car Lady Lisa with Achilles Mazda and you've been wondering where I've been. <laughs> no, I haven't lost my voice, but it is winter time in the automotive industry. It's cold, it's windy. So I've got a new video for you. I just have to finish cleaning all the snow off this car. All of our cars look white right now. So I'm gonna do that and we're gonna take a look at the 2017 Mazda 3 GT technology pack. Oh yeah. So give me a minute, I'll be right back. What I love about the new Mazda 3 is this updated steering wheel. They've made it kind of smaller so that you can see your speedometer better and all your information here. And they also integrated the buttons and made them a little more ergonomic for you. And by integrating them, it just cleans it up a little bit and they add some nice little touches to make it just that much nicer. It is really, really good looking. So this car has the Mazda Radar Cruise Control, which is available on the premium package as well. So you have all your controls very nice and easy here. So when we set it, it just shows in our display here, in our active driving display. So you can set your cruise and then your distance shows up in there. My goodness, why can't I get the angle on this? There we go. So you get like this little grid so that you can adjust all your settings and the active driving display not only does the Mazda radar cruise control, but it'll also show you information on the other systems on this car, like the lane departure warning and the forward obstruction stuff. And it'll all show up in there, but while you're driving, it'll display. So very cool stuff. It, it has a mode button here because you can use regular cruise control as well. So if you see here, there's a tiny little car above my cruise control setting thingamabob. So if I press it again, this shows me that this is just regular cruise. So it's not gonna sense the vehicle in front of you. That's the old school cruise control. So keep that in mind if you buy this car that you do have two settings for cruise and be very careful. We don't want you to be on regular cruise and then something happens, right? I love the new finishes. So you can't really tell because this is covered in plastic, but we have piano black instead of the carbon fiber stuff. So it just makes it look that much classier. And we have the uh, white interior in this car, which just kind of makes it feel very luxurious. And I've had the question, is it harder to keep clean? Well, it depends how dirty you are. <laughs> like really, if you're working construction or something, yeah, probably not. Um, but it's not, I don't think it's much more than cleaning like all the dust off of the black fabric or the black leather. Um, you know, you just touch it up here and there and keep it tidy, get a nice leather protectant, leather cleaner, you know, it's really nice looking stuff. And so for 2017, we have a better integrated display here. Yes, it's still on the dash. I don't think that will change for a long time. Uh, we still got some snow melting off the windshield here. <laughs> Welcome to Canada. And we have a really nice um, detail here that they've kind of made a little more kudu soul of motion, you know, so you have a more interesting dash. Very cool. Um, heated steering wheel is the bomb. Love it. Especially in our climate. Really awesome stuff. The automatic climate control. Um, you know, I've talked about it in a few of my other videos. Um, it's really just a very handy system if you want to be two different temperatures. You know, it's, is it absolutely necessary? No, but uh, it is pretty handy if you're uh, traveling a lot with your partner and they're always cold or too hot, like, you know, that kind of stuff. And we have a very nice covered in plastic, <laughs> redesigned center console. Um, again, just adding to the upscale feel of this car with the uh, sport mode here, which is just extra fun mode. You just hold on to the gear a little bit longer, you get a little more zoom. The um, HDMI hasn't changed much, uh, but this controller is really awesome. I love this new armrest, it's way more comfy. And you have your electronic parking brake. Uh, if you're getting a manual transmission, don't hate on this so much. It is so cool because it automatically shuts off when you go into gear and you buckle up. It just turns off automatically, even in the automatic transmission. You can apply it, you buckle up, 
put it into gear and it'll shut off like pretty cool or you can just put your foot on the brake and then there it goes and a lot of people like the new rolly cup holder thingamabob you know <laughs> small detail but it looks cool um, we got USB ports and stuff in here just like our other models because this car does have the CD player still because apparently it's a uh, you know it's more of a luxury now to have a CD player I guess and I'll show you a cool thing about this so in our uh, menu here oops there we go we go into safety so this is where you're going to kind of see how your safety systems work and you can personalize them so you can um, you know adjust how sensitive each system is you can turn some stuff off but I would kind of leave them on but uh, really cool so if if it's a little too sensitive for you you can adjust it all in that menu and not much has changed in terms of how this system functions like that's really it they added some more stuff to the safety whatnot and this is all kind of the same stuff as a 16 you know you got your sunroof covered in snow and that's really it for the interior love love this color interior absolutely and there you have it this is a GT tech package fully loaded so let me finish clearing off this car I'll get the snow off and I'll show you the exterior stuff um, really nice car as I said you get a lot of technology on the premium package the tech package has like five or six additional items um, that you can add to it um, the traffic sign recognition is pretty cool works with the nav system and shows you when there's like a stop sign or a yield sign stuff like that it's pretty neat um, so yeah let's get to looking at the exterior of this car uh, kind of cold kind of snowy so that's why I've been a little MIA because everything's covered in snow <laughs> and it snowed a lot so uh, let's get going on this <laughs> For 2017, we see a few updates. Mainly the wheels have been tidied up a little bit. They're not as houndstooth looking, um, just a, a little bit cleaner design. Our headlamps are re-engineered so that um, the LED lights display better. We've got LED fog lights and a new design to our turn signals down there. Mazda also widened the grille so it's actually a little bit taller than before and we have the new emblem for the Mazda Radar Cruise Control. Looks just a little bit better than the out, uh, outgoing model, the 2016. And this paint color is absolutely gorgeous. Um, we have some new turn signals there. Yes, intelligent key system. I really like the combination of the gray and the uh, white interior. It looks really good. On the rear of the sedan, nothing's changed. If you take a look at a hatchback, I'll get you that video eventually. Um, they did kind of redesign the rear hatch a tiny bit. I notice, I'll show you the difference one day. <laughs> so we got a nice looking car here. If you get a GT model, um, the exterior is going to look exactly the same as a GT Premium GT Tech. The main differences that you'll miss is a little bit of a shiny finish to your front grille and potentially the uh, little antenna on the top for the Sirius XM. But even if you get the base GT, it'll be this gorgeous. And the emblem will be different because you don't have MRCC. It's a great looking car. Look at that. Boom. Some nice wheels. That headlamp and the LED lights at night look much better. I think I did that video already. Check it out. And there we have it. And this is what I'm dealing with, guys. So just uh, be patient with the new videos. And thank you for watching. I'm Carlady Lisa.